Welcome back to Farm Science Review. We're standing in field 1D. This is where we did our drainage demonstration this year. You weren't able to see it in person, but we got some pretty cool video. Follow along, let me show it to you. Quick overview of the field we're working in here. You can see the guys are gonna start with a starter hole here. This allows the plow to get in, drop the plow down into the ground at the correct depth. You got a good operator in the backhoe with a guy in the ground with a tile probe finding the submain that we're gonna tie into. You can see that crew is going to stay a couple of runs ahead of where the plow is. The plow's there in the background working. He's running off across the field. This is a pretty simple field to tile. It's almost perfectly rectangular. Um, the slope is generally all in the same direction for the most part. So there's not a whole lot of tricky things going on here. It's a good one to do a demonstration on so you can kind of see how everything works in concert together. So we'll get a close up here of the guys working on the starter holes. They've got a good idea where that submain starts. You can see the guy there, he's, he's probing, trying to make sure that that operator in the backhoe doesn't get too close to the submain. If they have to, they'll come in and finish it off by hand with a shovel. You can see it sitting next to the hole there. Um, this crew, we work with Olica, that's the Ohio Land Improvement Contractors Association. These guys are really good. It's made up of a group of um, multiple different companies that do this type of work across the state. They come together to put this demonstration on for us see how flat the bottom of that hole is. That's the mark of a really good experienced operator there. So you can see the next step after they find it is when the, the plow comes back from his previous run. Um, a couple of guys there, they'll get that four inch uh, lateral here and they'll get that tied in with the uh, submain there. They'll stand on the pipe and they'll get a couple of shovelfuls um, of dirt there on, on top of the lateral to hold it in place while the plow um, takes off. And then once there's enough uh, soil from the, the plow disturbance on top of it, um, they're no longer needed and they'll, they'll come in and they'll, they'll fill in that, uh, that starter hole there. That's what the skid steer is sitting there for. And Historically, this field sits uh, pretty wet um, in the west end, so we're not tiling this entire field. Um, it's about an 18 acre field and I think we did uh, about 8 to 10 acres of it. Um, we split the tiles on, you kind of see here. Um, how those runs look. This is a field we do demonstrations in every single year. So there's a lot of heavy equipment all over this field and we're not in a place where we can practice controlled traffic like we would on one of our production fields. However, we still manage this field just like any other production ground. Our primary factor reducing yield here was water. That west end has some wet pockets, it's tighter ground, and so it made sense to install this additional drainage. We'll let these runs over winter and work them down in the spring before we plant. And then you can come visit us next year during the show and watch field demos in person again. We hope you enjoyed watching this demo. If you hadn't had a chance to watch the Harvest Live corn and soybean demonstration during this year's show, look for those two videos on our channel. We've got a few more interesting videos planned. If you saw our spring video on planting soybeans into standing rye, we'll have an update video out when we harvest that field. That field looks to be about two weeks away or so from harvest, so we'll keep you up to date on that one. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can see all the things we're up to. If you want, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter or check out our website at fsr.osu.edu.